members are welcome after completing the joyous weekend and in the starting of the new week all are welcome with the full of energy let us start uh so sapna ben is going to offer the prayer ಶ್ರವ್ಯ ಓಪನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಕವರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ thank you sapna ben and uh, we warmly invite dali ben thakur to take over the class and the leaders with the subjects discussed already uh and i'm now making her the host for the purpose whenever she wants i'm adding pin namaskar pranam hello to everyone hope my voice is clear to you first i may request everyone to please mute uh, it class get disturbed you know when you unmute during the session so first let's quick recall for the revision till now so those who have joined me new they can also understand what we are talking about as you know yogasana bharat under yogasana bharat we have five event number one can anyone say any event traditional event number two artistic single event artistic pair event rhythmic pair event group performance of five athletes so these are the five event yogasana bharat uh, team you know organize the championship and we do all the five cat ask uh, categories under this championship so let's talk about fop we have 4 by 4 meter fop for traditional we have 8 by 8 meter for single artistic event we have 10 by 10 meter for rhythmic pair 10 by 10 meter for artistic pair 10 by 10 meter for group event let's talk about age category we have sub junior category 9 plus to 14 year old we have junior category 14 plus to 18 year old we have senior category category 18 plus to 20a so these three category is for school and college students now let's talk about masters category master category senior a senior b senior c senior a comes 28 plus to 35 senior b comes 35 plus to 45 senior c comes 45 plus to 55 so let's talk about last class just a minute in last class we had a word about traditional yogasana event so as you know in traditional yogasana event we have three rounds quarter final round 
semi-final round and final round. So in quarter final round, we have five compulsory asanas and two optional asanas. Right? Traditional yoga asana event, we have for sub junior, junior, and senior. We have three different age groups. For sub junior, we have five compulsory asanas, which you can see in COP, and two optional asanas from, you know, the child has to choose from the optional asanas. We have 250 asanas in our COP with proper key judging point. So coach has can select the two asanas from the different categories. Second, we have semi-final round. In semi-final round, we have four compulsory asanas and three optional asanas. So please make sure these, you know, point very much clear. If we are talking about semi-final round, you should know in semi-final round, we have four compulsory asanas and three optional asanas. An optional asana athlete has to choose from the optional chart from the different categories. For example, he can choose one from forward bending, one from, for, from hand balancing, one from leg balancing. So three categories are different. For final round, two asanas are compulsory and five asanas are optional. Until now, so let me share today's so host disabled participant screen. So can you please make me host so that I can share today's today our topic is artistic yogasana single event, right? So today we are going to talk about artistic yogasana single event. Can you see my screen? Thank you. So let me minimize this. I can't see how I can. Okay. Upstairs. Right? Okay. So now, as you can see in my screen, we are talking about second event. See, in the Yogasana Bharat Championship, we have five events. Traditional Yogasana, Artistic Yogasana Single, Artistic Yogasana Pair, Rhythmic Pair and Group Event. In last class, we had a word about, we had a class about traditional event. Now, today we are going to talk about artistic yogasana single. Okay. So first, as you can see in my screen about the event, what is the vision behind this event? To promote physical, mental well-being of the people of all age group. Okay. So second, if you can see in the third point, Artistic yogasana involves physical strength, power, agility, flexibility, grace, control, coordination, and balance. The artistic yogasana event will be separate for men and women. No mixed pair is allowed. So in this event, we are not going to mix the pair. If we are talking about artistic yogasana pair also, we have different Pair. Like for women, we have two women, same time performance. If we are talking about men pairs, so two men are performing at the same time. We don't have mixing gender performance. So if you can see in fourth is very, very important point in artistic yogasana single, the number of yogasana performed should be 10. So total number of Position of asanas, 10. And 10 athlete has to choose from different category. We have five major category. Forward bend, back bend, leg balance, hand balance and twisting. These are the five major categories. And in five major categories, we have two subcategories. For example, Forward bend, we have two categories. Back bend, we have two categories. 
hand balance we have two categories leg balance we have two categories twisting we have two categories so if i am talking about artistic yogasana single even athlete has to choose from every optional asana if he is going to miss any category the evaluator going to deduct the marks so this is the coach responsibility then when he is when he is preparing the child when he is preparing the athlete for the competition the coach has to train the student accordingly that he, you have to choose from each different category it uh, you can't choose like you know i my favorite is forward bending so i can't choose two asanas from forward bending and two asanas from hand balance then one from different no we have to choose from each sub category second yoga asana should be selected from the given chart we have 10 charts in cop i'll tell you the number if you will open the cop page number 67 to 76 we have 10 optional chart so athlete has to choose from the categories only okay let's talk about the time duration when athlete is on the stage for performance when he has done the namaskar mudra when the music starts when the his performance start or her performance start the total second should be 152 180 second if it's 140 second like 140 second the performance will be disqualified if the performance is 190 second so every extra second he will be having or she will be having 0.25 k penalty so make sure when we are preparing us at least for the competition he has to remember the total timing like minimum he he can perform 152 180 in further uh, in further slide i will tell you exactly second to second how he can you know gain the score accordingly now in yes, in last class i had a word about 5 second hold the athlete will maintain each posture for minimum 5 second holding okay i told you in the last class Uh, we had a state championship last week last month sorry so the national level athlete hasn't complete you know the 5 second hold because he was so involved in music and step he forgot to hold in the each asanas minimum 5 second so time judge noted down an evaluator did a disqualified that position so if our athlete is not performing holding of position minimum 5 second that position that particular position going to be disqualify or he will get a zero marks now point number 8 the transition from one posture to the next posture should be artistic synchronized with the music so for example i have chosen one first position uh vrakshasan right so from number 1 position to if i have to go to chakrasan i can't go directly like i have performed okay vrakshasan now okay i'm performing chakrasan no he has to do artistic step like some dancing step some roll or then he can perform the second asan he can't go directly to number 1 to number 2 number 1 then two or three artistic step then number 2 position then artistic step then number 3 then artistic he has to use the full area 
as you know, artist, we are talking about artistic yogasana single. And the FOP, FOP means field of play. And field of play area for artistic single is 8 by 8 meter. So he has to use for, for his performance or her performance within that area, right? And the step has to synchronize with the music. Athlete will give a greeting gesture of Namaste. As we have spoken this, whenever athlete is on the stage, they have to perform Namaskar Mudra in the beginning. They have to perform Namaskar Mudra at the end. For example, if I have... If I am on the street, I have to gracefully do the namaskar while standing, go down, and then I have to start my performance, 10 position, which I have given, fill the code and give it to the evaluator. And after my 10 position, again, after music stop, I have to do the namaskar mudra, right? Now, let's talk about the Me costume for artistic yoga. First of all, you can see on the first point, the costume should be non-transparent material. When athlete is, you know, during the practice session also, we should make sure our athlete should wear the comfortable, non-transparent, not deep neck. See, each every point may it's. Uh, written clearly the neckline of the costume should be around the neck and should not have any cut any cut means when he's wearing when the athlete is wearing the costume they should not have an extra cut from the sides from the back it's a proper round neck costume that's it now let's talk about number four the costume must be tight fitted so that the judge can see the position easily. Number five, it is allowed to wear long tights over. Okay, so athlete can wear the long tights and full length one piece dress also. That is allowed. The hairstyle must be neat and clean. Like when they when they are coming to perform, the hair should be neat and clean tied up not like you know open hair and they are performing in unless they are doing shift under shift under me i just saw uh, today in, during the national yoga asana championship one uh, one particular girl was uh, team was shift under so she was doing half uh, you know half hair bun up and the open hair down so unless your team is not uh, team is team want your open hair then it is allowed so the makeup use should not be not hide right like you know the extra makeup you can't identify the player total marks for costume is five marks so please all the key points make you should note it down total marks for costume is five points deduction by a judge in multiple I just had a word, 0 0.25 for not fulfilling the criteria. Maximum of three marks deduction, you know, the judge can give. We will be going to talk about theme, character, expression. So first of all, let's understand the meaning of theme. See, if uh, we, my athlete is performing Krishna, you know, he is the he is Krishna and I have used the flute in the music. So the athlete expression has to match the theme. It doesn't mean I am, he is performing on Krishna's flute, but his face expression, his uh, dress code, his, like his costume, his makeup is not matching. So that is also a, you know, deduction score. So if, for example, if I'm using Krishna, so uh, my athlete can, you know, uh, draw a, like a peacock feather or some, you know, uh, 
some any you know element to catch like shiva shiva is related he can show the uh, damru theme like he is not holding the damru but with eye expression he can show so it is very important to have a theme in routine so when he is performing 10 asanas plus artistic step he has to she has to perform according to theme while performing the player must present the theme and match with the yes. song so hope you understand this point very much now let's talk about number 4 the character of the music should be chosen in respect of the age technical level artistic qualified player i'll tell you this one we should use the music according to students or respected to age it's not like you can use the pop music or hip hop music and we can you know at least can perform yogasana should not only be serious without connection to the character theme and expression this is very important for yogasana single artistic oh, okay. yogasana uh, sorry sorry artistic dali ji uh, let, let, let me disturb you here can you please mute nalucha who has been creating some disturbance please mute nalucha if she doesn't mute herself thank okay, you okay sir नलूचा प्लीज Yeah, I can see. I can see. Yeah. Yes, muted. Done. Yeah. See muted. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So. Thank you. Where we were? Okay, number six. Character should be expressed during the dance performance when my athlete is performing performing on stage he has to maintain that you know that expression connection with the music and the artistic step when he is performing one position and he is going to do the second position so the connection should be there so let's talk about number 9 simple movement should convey to the character aisa nahi hai you know we can you know give the tough position you know tough step so that you know at least can simple artistic step you can give i can tell you but last may in the practical session i'll tell you just remind me how to use the step i'll tell you the simple one so that you know at least you can understand what i'm talking about so let's see number 10 exact response to the music with facial expression right number 12 no props allowed during artistic yogasana single event pair event and rhythmic pair event or anyone no? we are not supposed to use any prop so total marks allotted to theme two marks character four marks expression four marks so you can see 10 points comes under theme expression so this is very very important when we are preparing our athlete for the competition so these small small details come when you know we want our athlete should be come should be in top two if we understand the meaning of theme character expression according to that we play the music in theme is not matching song then what are two marks will be did up in multiply of 0.25 so if the theme is not matching with the song if my athlete is performing on uh, he is showing like you know he is uh, shiva but my song is playing krishna so that theme and expression in the song is not matching so theme character song everything has to be interconnected for the marks 
deduction of multiply of 0 0.25 marks for missing the any routine i'll tell you simple language way when athlete is performing on stage one to ten sequence and he has filled the code slip according to sequence i will show you the code slip today because i have uh, i will be talking about the score sheet also so when my Athlete has given the code set slip with the sequence. He can't change the sequence. For example, he can't perform number seven in number two, number two in number five. Then they will have deduction score and multiply of you know 0 0.25. So it can reach uh, 0 0.3. So we should be very much clear. If we are preparing our child for the competition, the sequence ha he has to or she has to perform according to sequence. Okay, let's talk about rhythm and music. Body movement should be, you know, tempo of the music. It ha they have to be interconnected. Like when the music starts, it should be connected and the judges can, you know, see the music, the expression, the theme, everything is connected. Now, chief judge will raise green flag. This will be indicated for athlete to start the performance. So after the Namaskar Mudra, when he has done the Namaskar Mudra, the chief judge will always sit in the center so he can, you know, he will raise the green flag. This is the indication to athlete that now your performance is going to start. You can start the performance and the music will play accordingly. So you can see now that we have already talked about it that you know music should be matched according to the theme. Uh, we should not take any vulgar song, item song, rock music, pop music. So this is not allowed. Player can use meditation, instrumental music, or you know for devotion music. So you you can understand that way. We are not supposed to take any vulgar song. So meditation any instrumental music folk or you know devotion song we can take so these are the simple points athlete has to give you know uh, his or her music uh, music on the usb and with the proper name detail let's go for it Achha, one thing i want to tell you if the wrong music is played or if there is any you know uh, interruption uh, while playing the music or disconnection of the routine if it's uh, from the technical side so athlete will stop they will play the music again and then the athlete will start so no need to worry uh, to athlete you know okay, uh, why the music is not start sometime technical because of technical issue it's happened so now if the music stops due to technical setup, then the athlete will get a chance to perform again without deduction of marks. So I just told you that if the music has stopped from the technical team, the athlete will get the second chance without any deduction of score. Now, for missing rhythm each time, deduction will be in multiple of 0.25. Now let's talk about use of floor. So first, I think in every class, I had a word with you about the FOP. FOP means field of play. For traditional, it's four by four. For artistic yogasana single, it's eight by eight meter. For artistic yogasana pair, it's 10 by 10 meter. Artistic rhythmic yogasana pair 10 by 10 meter, then group event 10 by 10 meter. Why this I'm telling you every day so that you know it has to be you know very well. Okay, you know, FOP belongs to which, uh, which asan, which category, which event, which FOP with uh, connected together. So uh, Artistic yoga is a single 8 by 8, right? Athletes should use maximum floor area allotted while executive of routine. So he has to use the maximum of floor. 
एट बाय एट रेंज का सो यू दे कैन डू द टेन परफॉर्मेंस टेन आसना प्लस आर्टिस्टिक स्टेप एंड यू नो द टाइम वन फिफ्टी टू वन एटी सेकेंड ना ए जज विल रेज रेड फ्लैग फॉर ईच टाइम वेन द यू नो एथलीट इज क्रॉसिंग द body is not you know body is not touching to the mat and the body part is in aerial and then he has performed <coughs> Then there will be no deduction. So this will come again. I tell you, total marks allotted for use of floor five marks. If the athlete is not using the whole floor area, then it will be zero. Do five marks, and with maximum of three marks deduction. Now let's talk about see crossing of the line in the aerial part. If not touching floor, will not lead to penalty of marks. If my child. Dariji, is sorry. Dariji, sorry to interrupt you. Now me to be muted, please. Now me, madam. Now me, please mute yourself. Otherwise, Coach Dali is going to mute you. It is disturbing. Okay. So. crossing of the line in the aerial bar if not touching floor will not lead to penalty of marks if athlete see this is the boundary line and here athlete is performing if the athlete body is touching the boundary line and crossing the boundary line the penalty will be there 0.25 and with maximum of 3 marks deduction you know every time when they touch the deduction will be there but if athlete is performing on the stage on the you know user floor and he has just crossed the boundary line but in a like a like not touching the boundary line then deduction then no penalty will be there right so let's talk about the artistic steps artistic step are mandatory in routine and you can use simple artistic step also it doesn't mean you you need to be a great dancer and then you know the you are the athlete is doing one position and then they have to do the great dancing step not at all it has to be connected with the performance if one asanas they have performed they have to do the second position but before that they have to do one or two artistic step then they have to perform second asan then they release from the second asan then they perform one or two artistic step they can do simple one also it doesn't mean they have to be a good good you know outstanding uh, for the beginning level they can be a simple but connected to the performance same way till number 10 position so you can see artistic step should be continue and connected with smooth transition transition means position 1 then artistic step then number 2 then artistic step so there is a transition you know transition from 1 to 2 to 2 to 3 but interconnected with artistic step player can use any classical flow we have already had a word regarding this we are not supposed to take the vulgar music you know very well any acrobatic elements other than front walk over back walk over cartwheel front roll back roll so they can't show it's a penalty you know one point ka so these are the simple points you can understand so let's go about you total marks allotted for artistic step is 10 so a judge will see if the 10 asanas and artistic steps are connected and athlete is performing one after one after one with the interconnected artistic step then 
a judge can give the full marks and where he feel that you know that two particular two position the artistic step is not interconnected so he can deduct the score so total marks allotted for artistic step is 10 now let's talk about the time now this time judge is very very important so let's talk about it the time limit of artistic yogasana single is 3 minutes 3 minute means 180 second the routine must finish and synchronize with the music getting over so within the 180 second the music has to be stopped if he will cross the mute like you know time every second he will we, uh, that judge can add the penalty. Time start with, when with the music start uh, with the closing gesture performance of Namaste Mudra. We have already spoken. When the performance start, Namaske, Namaskar Mudra. In the last class, I have, I have show you that how the athlete is going to perform. In the closing also, Namaste gesture. So total marks allotted for time section is 10 marks. Now, we will be talking about whole time performance. You can say TW. TW means whole performance time. TW means whole performance time. So, 5 marks for TW and 5 marks for TA. TA means holding time of asanas. Right? So, 5 marks for TA. So, here you can see See, whole performance time plus asan holding time is equal to 5 marks plus 5 marks, 10 marks. So, we have 10 marks. Uh, the time judge can give the 10 marks. 2 minutes, 30 seconds. So, you can see here the minimum time of performance, 150 second. Whole performance will be zero in case of athlete complete routine before 150 seconds. If my athlete is on stage and he has started the performance when the music starts, he, he is doing, they are doing the continued performance. Number one, artistic step. Number two, continuity, artistic step, position 10. And he cross the time. So, time judge will be giving, you know, zero in case of that routine. So, we as a coach, this is our responsibility to train our athlete accordingly. If the athlete completes his performance in between, like, you know, 150 to 180 seconds, then see the scoring. If athlete is performing within 177 to 180 Full marks, five marks, 161 to 70 second, four marks, 150 to 160 second, three marks. So, time judge responsibility is very, very important as a time judge. Next, if we have already spoken after completing the 180 second, if at least continue his performance deduction. Penalty of 0 0.5 marks. We, you know, continue and after 10 seconds, the performance will be disqualified. So, we have to be very, very much clear according to time. Athlete has to hold every asan for minimum 5 seconds. I think this I have spoken uh, 4 to 5 times. In artistic single, artistic pair, Rhythmic pair, when athlete is performing, the minimum time is five seconds. If they are, come, you know, uh, sometimes athletes are so much into music while performing, he forgot in like two to three position, may like two to three second hold and then he start the artistic step. That particular position is not going to be counted. Whether the position, you know, uh, will be excellent, but he will be getting zero. If the position holding time is 
five seconds only, then the asana will be considered. Otherwise, no. So if athlete hold each asana for minimum five seconds, then for each asana, he will get 0 0.5 minutes, right? So let's talk about asan difficulty charm. So this you can see COP. In COP, it's all mentioned. Athlete cannot exceed the number of yoga asana. He has to take only 10 positions from the different categories. You, you know very well, we have five major categories. <laughs> and each five major category, we, we have two subcategory. Forward bend, two subcategory. Back bend, two subcategory. Hand balance, two subcategory. Leg balance, two subcategory. Twisting body, two subcategory. So total, 10. And here, the number of asanas, 10. So it means he has to choose from every subcategory. He can't miss any category. This is compulsory. So let's talk about athlete number five. Athlete will have to write the sequence and the yogasana base value of the on the athlete order of performance. This also I have word with you in the last class. Whenever athlete is coming to perform, whether he is from traditional yogasana, artistic yogasana single, artistic yogasana pair, rhythmic pair or group event. Every event they have to submit the sequence code to evaluator. So you can see number five easily, right? So we have, and they have to perform according to sequence only. So this is our duty as a coach to train our children accordingly. Like it doesn't mean, you know, in, perform, in practice time, they can do any asana near the competition. We should train them according to sequence how they will perform. Now in the last number six point, Athlete cannot change the sequence of asanas provided, you know, athlete order performance sheet. On the spot, he cannot change. He will be have they will be having, you know, deduction score from the judge. Now, let's talk about this. We have spoken already. He cannot change the uh, asanas. Number eight, if athlete perform different asanas or other than the sequence provided by him in writing will lead to zero marks. So see, this is very, very important. As a coach, we have to train our athlete during the practice session only that if they are, you know, uh, Especially particular, they are performing for traditional or, for example, artistic yogasana single. So the way you have given the 10 position, they have to perform according to sequence. Otherwise, they will be getting zero for that particular, you know, position where they have missed or interchanged the position. So evaluator will cross check the sequence of asanas provided by the athlete. We have spoken this. In the last class, what is the evaluator job? When the athlete, when the event is announced by the announcer, we are starting with artistic yogasana single. This is evaluator job to, you know, take all the code slip. This is coach responsibility, you know, submit the code slip. Then this is evaluator duty to cross check all the asanas which athlete is going to perform on the stage or by performance you can see you know okay number one tick he he's doing it uh, according to sequence number two tick according to sequence number three tick according to sequence number four not not according to sequence crawl like he will point it down okay number seven no not according to sequence he will make matlab ki it down and definitely athlete is going to take the zero marks for that particular asana. So we just had a word. We have five major category. See, code slip, how we fill the code slip. We have five major category. One, forward bend, then backward bend, twisting body, leg balance, hand balance, right? So for forward bend, we have 
two subcategory and two subcategory means you can see here code slip for the code slip if my athlete is performing from forward bed standing so he will write f b s so if for example he is performing from c category so he will write f b s c and from the c category he is performing which asana like number 1 2 3 4 for example he is performing number 4 so my athlete will write f b s c 4 so the evaluator you know it's very much easy for evaluator to see the position that evaluator will cross check in the big monsi so these are the sub categories please uh, whenever you have time my dear everyone please go through with the cop this is a very easy language where they have you know noted down and designed the cop very much easily so athlete will perform facing toward chief judge one more thing i want to tell you i want to add with this athlete will perform facing toward chief judge it's right but sometime for example Athlete is performing chakrasan. So athlete have to make sure that his chakra is showing to, you know, chief judge. I'm not going to perform like this. He, he will see, you know, front or the back line. He can't see the side, my full chakra. So this is coach responsibility. How he is, you know, trained this athlete or student, how they are going to perform because the asan picture is different. If I'm doing Ashimotanasan, you know, and my judging panel is sitting front. So this way they will see. But if I'm performing this way, so they can see proper my sideline position. So this way we have to train accordingly. Pre-mounting of asanas before music start is not allowed. So this we have to train accordingly. I don't think so. We should talk about Namaskar Mudra. You know very well. Beginning of, we have to give the gesture of Namaste. Ending of performance also, we have to give uh, Namaskar Mudra gesture. So let's talk about Asana difficulty judge. There are four D judge. Mark will be provided. See, in traditional, we have five D judge. So now we are talking about artistic yogasana single. In artistic yogasana single, we have 4D judge. Marks will be provided out of 10. So see, 10 marks for each asanas, 100 marks in total because athlete is performing 10 asanas. So 10 marks for one position, for 10 position is going to be 100. D judge deduction marks if the yogasana is not filling the criteria. Now, Number four is very, very important, which uh, I think in last class, uh, in question and answering me, we had a word. See, the highest and the lowest marks will be deducted. 4D judge. So highest, for example, in one particular position, 1D judge has given nine points. 1D judge has given four points. One D judge is given seven and one given six. So which two numbers will be cut? Number nine, the highest. Number three, cut. So these two judges ka will be average. Hope it's very much clear to you. Highest and lowest mark will be derived. And only the average of remaining two judges will be considered. Now, let's see. Here, you can see artistic judge ka sheet. A judge has to check the parameter of mention point two to six. We have just read there will be two. A judge. A1, A2, average of both, like costume pay, they have five marks, theme two, character four, expression four, rhythm seven, music three, use of flow five, artistic step ten. So total 40 marks. <laughs> Time judge. 
there are two time judge t1 t2 average of both t judge will be considered t judge will work as per you know mention point number 7 will go again the t judge format as under see t judge sheet you can see in my screen whole performance time right in second, in minutes, score and asana. Each asana is holding time. Like asana, is, uh, athlete is performing. So the time judge will see, okay, number one position, six second. Number two position, okay, four second. Number three position, okay, eight second. You know, so number two will be giving zero. So this, we, as a coach, this is our responsibility to minimum hold five seconds. It's compulsory. So let's see at lead common sheet. See how the code slip, you know, how they will fill yogasana sequence, yogasana one. Yogasana one means position one, position two, position three, position four, position five, and the code. See, BBS, you can understand backward bend, backward bend. This is forward bend, forward bend. Hand balance. So D1, it means D category and D category base value is 0 0.8. C2, C category base value is 0 0.7. A category base value is 0 0.6. B category base value is 0 0.6. Sorry, C category is 8. So E is 1. Remember, the highest base value belongs to e, A category. The lowest base value belongs to 0 0.6 category. So let's talk about next. Okay. Okay, wait. I will be sharing again my screen. So, uh, it is very, very much, uh, you know, easy if we understand why this is crossing again. Okay. So, this is going to be very, very easy if you guys, you know, just practice. Now, let's talk about this. Yeah. Uh, during the practice session, we need to train our students accordingly. So, Abhi, you... You have seen five asanas in last slide. So see, position six, position seven, eight, nine, ten, same way, A category, like HBB. These are the code when the athlete is going to submit to the evaluator. All the ten codes. HBB, E5, TBF, E1, TBB, E3, LBF, LB, leg balance, LB, leg balance, okay, C2. So lowest base value, you know very well now, 0 0.6. Highest base value, E. Number, point 0.1. Let's see, sample sheet of D judge. So see, can you see the G, uh, D judge sheet? So you can see the code again here. Base value of all asanas are here, right? So out of seven, how many? The, matlab, this is a, just a sample of sheet. That, uh, at, uh, the judge has given 6.3, okay, out of eight, you know, according to this. So total 56. This is just for your knowledge how the D judge fill the score. So now see all the four D judge. So this is the one D judge ka score, 56. Now you will see all four D judges score. So D1 has given 56 out of, you know, all 10 position. D2, 55. D3, 57.8. D4, 56. So now... You can see the highest, highest will not be counted. So, this will going to be crossed. The lowest will be going to cross. So, D3, D2 judges scoring will be not going to be considered. 
So only two judging scoring consider D1 56 because of the average score and D4 56.6. You can see here. So now here is the average. So this is going to be very, very much. Much easy if we you know understand accordingly. Sample of you know artistic judge score sheet. See costume, theme, character, expression, rhythm, music, use of flow, artistic step. So see base marks are here. All the scoring ones here in penalty. They have given, I think, steps pay. They have given one and one, two marks key penalty. So total athlete has taken 28, but two points penalty, so 26. So A judge score, A1, A2. So you can see A1, 26, A2, 27. So here is the average score. So now see the... Time judge, okay. Time judge sheet, sample time judge score sheet. Core performance time in second, 1.55 second. Time in minute, 2.35. Score, 3. Okay, so see here sequence 1 to 10. Holding of time of each asanas. Mark for each asana, it's written here. So total eight, right? So you can see here how many marks we have. We can earn here five plus five, ten, you know. So he got, uh, the athlete got eight marks. So five marks we have total whole time performance and five for holding of asana. So T judge score, T1, eight, T2, nine. So average is 8.5. So now see the Final score sheet, which chief judge is having it. So, see, judge D4, D, D judge 54.3, A judge 26.5, T judge 8.5, evaluator 0. So, total is 89.3 out of 100. Hope oh, it is very much clear to you. Let me see the time. Now, let's go for the practical part. For practical part, first I wanted to show you one optional chart, which we were talking about. We have 10 optional chart. I told you the number, page number 67 to 76. We have 10 optional chart, right? So this is a sample of one optional chart. So, you know, we should, my, if my athlete is performing artistic yoga asana single, my athlete has to choose any one asanas from this optional chart. So as a coach, this is our responsibility. So let's do the practical one for 10-15 minutes. So everyone, I request to stand up. Let's do today. We'll do a little bit leg balance. Thoda bahut asanas. Why it's not big name? Yeah, it's here. Okay. So may I request everyone to please leave your seats and let's stand up. Uh, I will, sir, I will make you host now because uh, I will make you host. Hope I am not a host. Sir, mujhe aap change kar dijiye host se, Sudhakar Bhaiya. Because you can, I wanted to play the music also. Dishti, can you give me a speaker? I'm not able to change you. I don't know why. Sir, I'll, I'll see where uh, yeah. I'll... Uh, very good, everyone. Let's start. Step, 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 step. Move to place. Even I can't see. Spotlight to everyone. No? Ha, make a host. Okay, sir, I can make you actually. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you can see now. 
Okay, so everyone, please stand up and ready for the practical part. I want everyone to just start slow, slow, slow steps. Okay, let's do slow jogging first because warm up part is very important. So we need to warm up ourselves. Very good. Size. Very, very important. I, just, I can see a student. Very good. Recording in progress. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Very good. Very good. Every slow jog. Let's do three to four minutes or two minutes of jogging. You will very good. I can see you all are doing great job. Now the final step right. Let's do little hand up and down. Now front, lift and up. Hand up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more minute, jog, slow jog, one more minute. Very good. Keep jogging. And you should do slowly, slowly, deep breathing. Slowly inhale, come down. And exhale. Slowly, slowly, from out. Last ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now one leg forward, one leg straight back. Our leg has to be straight, you know, don't be doing Just touch one, two, three. Remember, if you have a back problem, please don't bend for it. Last two. Last one. Change. Leg change. Run. Two. Help from back. Yes. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One, three, two, one. Change side to side. Ten times. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last. Just hold.
change change open wings keep your palms down and just slightly five times one two three four gently don't jog your body very slow plus four three two one relax now we'll do two asanas Today, leg balance, one is Raksha, three pose, very simple. Very slow, constantly, don't agree. Focus on one point. One, two, three, four, Five slowly, slowly bring your body down, twist it around. Let's do it the other way. Focus on one point. Slowly, slowly bring this down. Hold one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and slowly, slowly bring your hands down. Okay, last we do Garudasa. Slide, bring your legs, lock, lock your hands, and hold. One, two, three. Four, five, years, change. Five count with a stretch leg, lock, lock your hands. Five, sorry, four, three, two, one. This is fully back. Very good. So I think today we have crossed the time. You can sit, please, for one minute. Close your eyes for one minute. I want you to close your eyes. You are doing great job. Just relax yourself. Slowly be brave while inhale, feel. Relax. While I feel, feel stress free. Now, one minute, you and yourself. I will use it. 10, 9, deep breathe, 8, Seven, eight, six, five, four, three, one. Gently rub your hand, touch your face, be blessed, just relax yourself. So again for now, so if you have any question, please feel free to ask. I'm here for your question, please. You can have any question. If you have any question, please ask me. Yes, Vipulji, please. 
Om. Om, sir. Uh, I just want to know uh, what is is there any trick for the first asan because when we put the second leg at thighs, you know, it it doesn't remain. It is slipping. The practice. Down. Yes, it's yes, sir. Practice. Yes, sir. So first, so comfortable clothes, even to, and then practice. You know, if we practice, basically we practice. You know, one side we are comfortable with one leg, we are comfortable. But make sure we, when we are practicing Brakshasan or Garudasan or other asan, so we are particular. You know, uh, we feel like you know this is the you know uh, comfortable zone with this leg or this side so we do but we should do both the side both the legs so it's, it's a practice with practice it will be going to okay okay help thank you thank you yes yes uh <clears throat> yes, Dali yes Ji, uh, i have a couple of questions both on artistic yoga uh, the first question is when you said when somebody crosses the boundary but doesn't touch the boundary, can you explain that? And the second is, yes, the, if, yeah. if the judges are in tie, say two or three judges are in tie, what is how is it going to be recorded? So we will be going to talk about tie is a different, you know, we will be talking about in the next classes tie and you know tie breaker asnas we are the chapter is there but first let me clear your first point so this is my eight into eight meter ka uh, performance area fop so if my athlete is performing here and uh, that my athlete you know cross the line or touch the line or cross so he will have a 0.25 key penalty but at the same point if my athlete is performing and for example he is doing uh, chakrasan right so while making chakrasan he uh, take the leg but he hasn't touched the floor or the boundary line and then he may make his position then it is not deduction because that boundary line cross it's in the aerial not you know he's touched he hasn't touched the ground so he will have a pull marks in that particular position right yes Thank sir. You. is any other one anyone Hope the, you know, you understand when I'm, you know, telling all the points as I make sure when I'm taking it, the, you know, points or class. So every, in every class, I should, you know, cross the last point the revision also so that, you know, at the end, you will be, you know, knowing all the events, all the FOP, all the age groups. So when the paper is there, it, it is going to be very easy for you. Oh, this is the very easy, we, you know, 14 days, may every day we are going to talk. So make sure when you're having the class, please concentrate and nodding on the point or just listen without disturbance. Yes, let me, someone wrote something. Good evening, ma'am. Namaste, ma'am. Going to organize competition in the country. So, uh, this is the foundation course for coaching and, you know, judging ke liye bhi, we have different uh, course also. So, you can talk to Sudhakar Bhaiya and uh, Jairam Bhaiya. We have uh, coaching course is different and uh, judging course is different. So, hope... Uh, we, together as a team, we are going to do it. So, hope in coming time, you will be, you know, organize a competition and we will be meeting there in the competition. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, so that can be here. And welcome, Jay. Welcome. Uh, is anybody else who would like to raise any issue, question, doubt? <clears throat> Uh, or we can do the Shantipad by Sudhakar Bhaiya or anyone else. 
Yes, uh, there is uh, Payal Ben Mehta who is going to offer the Shanti part for a change today. Are you sure? There are no issues, no questions. Very good. Dali Ben has done a very good job today also. <laughs> Not many questions from anybody. Unless uh, Jairam Bhai has any anything to convey, maybe we can go for Shanti part. Yes, yes Jairam Bhai. It is appreciable work today done very appreciable theory with a deep, deep concentration and short part of the practical also very visible and very understandable the so question which, which somebody has raised a question to you that this part is a foundation course only what you have given the COP and thereafter we will we are planning to do class one, class two, class three, and then judge will come. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Level Accordingly, one. Level, sorry, level one, level two, and level three. Accordingly, we'll organize what is possible by online. Okay. When we, we will call you people here in Africa, at that time also, we will try to organize. Those who have a, this type of question, at least they send a message to me and Sudhakar Bhai and, and our Swati Ben, so that we will reply. All the best. Let us proceed for Shanti Part. Uh, Payal Ben Mehta to take over for Shanti Part. Uh, okay, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Sahanavatu Sahanavatu Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Recording stopped. I thank you all for uh, more active and uh, disciplined participation today. We had uh, very little or no disturbance. And uh, we are very glad. Uh, I was expecting a question from some of the participants, whether Daliban is also going to demonstrate any artistic yoga posture <laughs> or an event <laughs> or an item. <laughs> Daliji, would you like to comment on this? Sir, definitely, but I'll tell you position, uh, for example, simple, very simple. For example, see, if I'm performing one, uh, my one asanas here, right? Now, how I can go number one to number three? I have performed, so simply I'll go here, I'll round and round, do some position, and I can go for my second position. Same way. I'll do some down steps and go for if my next step is sitting, I'll go straight away there and I'll hold it and hold it position and five second hold and again I'll come back from here and you have say I will do some dancing or stepping one and then fourth position. Hope it's clear, oh. simple way. What a flexible thing. Very, very flexible body. And, uh, uh, really I'll show you one. Okay, I'll show you one position. If I am doing this. So, I See have sharp. to perform this. Right? We have to perform this. Then how I'm going to end this? I'll go this. You know, I can make one position and then few steps and then the another position. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. I guess uh, many of our participants will need good amount of rest today. Even by seeing them must have got tired. 
<laughs> that is good god bless you with the great uh, further flexibility you. and uh, in times to come we would like to watch you in a video of uh, artistic yoga so going forward thank you. thank you all let us all join together same time tomorrow god bless you all bye bye take care thank you looking to this artistic uh, demonstration we say we will advise starting from sudhagar bhai to all participants if we have some people in our any of the country tanzania kenya uganda so we request Thank even you. zambia and we will request uh, swati ben also anybody is there with that so let us bring and show so that uh, our coaches will remember that even in the initial stage of training we have a cream uh, artistic participants thank you <laughs> thank you biju ma'am for your comment thank yeah, you i i have a uh, okay swati ben would you like to respond to that uh, swati ji uh, can you can you respond to what jairam bhai was making as a uh, as a possible effort from our side to have uh, at least a few entries from africa uh, especially i would like to make out a point there are many many traditional tribal dancers dancing africans in it, in africa there are many many people having very good flexibility in their body movement rhythmic pattern in their body let us all try to encourage them let us correct, try to correct. encourage them to come into the yoga fold so that they will be able to make better use of the artist yoga competition levels where they can correct. definitely win some very good prizes so now this In is to swati and also to make a comment and make a commitment thereby we are also committing correct initial stage whatever stage available then if they are in, they are ready to participate then our coaches or our team will uh, train accordingly yes yes uh, it looks like swati swati is not uh, swati ben is not logged in now i will try to get her uh, remarks later and until we meet again all the best god bless you all